I just, I don't think men would be subjected to the same kind of bullshit that you and I are subjected to. Meghan McCain is speaking out about how she feels society treats women. It really hurts my feelings. It genuinely hurts my feelings. The 35-year-old View co-host hit up Instagram Monday to share this screenshot of an article written about her. The title? The View sets return date, fans excited for comeback, but not for Meghan McCain. Ouch! Well, Meghan wasn't having it, calling the piece garbage in the caption, saying it is an example why our culture is so deeply toxic for women. Quote, no man would ever have this kind of a headline written who co-hosts the number one talk show in America that just won an Emmy for best show. Do better, be better, lift women up instead of tearing strong ones down. I think for women in this country, it's important to know that you don't just have to talk about light things all the time. Yep. You can do it all. But guys, keep listening because Megan wasn't done. The TV personality continued, writing that women are punished for being tough, opinionated, and not backing down, while men are celebrated for it. I try and just remind myself that I'm representing 50% of the country. I'm representing a bunch of women even though I only have one share. She also explained why she thinks this country has never had a woman president. Quote, we raise women to be strong, independent, smart, empowered, and to speak their mind, and then turn around and viciously punish them once they do and then subsequently proceed to demand they be more likable, warm, softer, smile more, be non-threatening, blah, blah, blah. Well, f that. Damn, you tell him, Meg. I'm not trying to placate to an audience. Instead, Megan said that we should celebrate women with different opinions. I think that's important. Adding that she's just not the kind of woman who sits back and plays it safe. I think we represent the two polar opposites in the country and that it's healthy. There's no other place on all of television you see women like us debating the issues, and I think that's really important. Megan encouraged all women, regardless of political persuasions, to speak up and use their voice more, not less. And she wrapped it all up, saying she's sick and tired of our country not being where she thought we'd be in the year 2020, before apologizing for what she called her soapbox rant. That's how I feel.